Hey, what's going on guys? So today we are going to take a look at my top city of picks for July 2016. So you may know 9.3.3 jailbreak has finally been released a couple days ago. So pretty much all of the tweaks I'm showing you guys uh, today are not yet updated as uh, of the day I'm uploading this. But they work perfectly so I'll show you in a few moments. Um, Pan U 9.3.3 jailbreak has been working flawlessly. My phone haven't restarted or crashed not once. So um, yeah, so all right. Uh, so without further ado, let's begin. So first off, I'm gonna show you my lock. So in the lock screen, I have first week time until alarm. This is uh, it, allow, it allows my alarm, my next alarm to be displayed here along with uh, a little countdown to my next alarm. If you ask me. Second tweak uh, is custom cover. I'm going to show you this tweak uh, by playing some music here. For example, this here. This will allow me to set the album art as the wallpaper, as you can see here. Also customize the way the album covers is played. So I've tweaked it a bit and uh, this setup, to be honest, is pretty cool. I like that. It's, uh, it's nice. I'll show you my settings here in a moment. All right, so here in the settings panel, uh, the theme that I'm using is insert. Position setting, uh, you can pause the video to uh, take a look at that if you want. Other settings, uh, you can use, like I said, artwork as a wallpaper, no blur. Okay, so now for my home screen. The way I made it five columns and uh, shrink icons is with the tweak reform. So I'm going to show you the settings panel right now. Here we are in the, the settings panel for reform. You can see we can adjust badges, the sizing of the badges. Uh, no, sorry, the sizing of the icons, labels. So I'm going to show you my settings here. Badges, I set it for 3, 13. Sizing, 90% for uh, every option. The labels, set it at 11. Then you can adjust how many columns and rows you want. I have it as 5, 6, and 5. Uh, insert is um, the space between each icon. So I, I, I set it at minus 9, minus 6. Zero, 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 zero. Um, in my opinion, this gives me the perfect look. Um, there's also other settings such as a control center here. The dock, this one I use to uh, enable the background to be a little bit more transparent at 80%. And miscellaneous settings such as high page indicators. So going back here, uh, this is the defect that it gives. It's pretty cool, I like it. Uh, makes the uh, iPhone 6 Plus, 6S Plus much more useful. In, uh, in other words, you can fit more icons on your home screen. Um, the fourth tweak, obviously, Barrel. Who doesn't know this one? Uh, it allows you to change the animations to, uh, when switching pages. I'll show you here. You get all kinds of different animation. The one I'm using right now is Flippy. I kind of like it's clean, fits well with the theme. All right, so now uh, the fifth one, let's talk about fonts. The font, the font I'm using in here is uh, called San Francisco Light. To apply this font, you need to buy the font. Buy the font, uh, you can get it on uh, the Cedia repo, of course, the Cedia store, sorry, not the repo. Uh, in the app itself, you can browse for some fonts, but I already have one installed, go to basic, see San Francisco Light, iOS 9, this one gives Pretty clean look, not too uh, not too weird. Looks factory, it's clean. I like that. So as you can see here, let me show you the keyboard dialer. Here's the keyboard itself. Um, caps, no caps. Pretty cool. I like it. It's a clean, classy look. Okay, so moving on, now we have uh, Winterboard, obviously. To apply a theme, you need Winterboard or uh, uh, the new one called Animon or something, something like that. But um, I like to use Winterboard, it works well. Uh, it haven't been up, uh, updated for uh, iOS 9, uh, when 9.3.3 officially, but still working as you can see here. I'm running the uh, the theme called Vixilium, Vixilium, uh, whatever you, you call that. Um, Pretty much all the icons are, are, are skin. Looks great. Uh, control center skin as well. Phone icon, uh, phone app skin. A lot of the UI elements are skin. 
it's here on my status bar yeah single strength five five strength um, the rotation lock clock bluetooth battery pink skin so it's pretty cool i like that uh, moving on we have phantom for snapchat so i ha i have already done a video on that uh, with uh, extensify so if you want to check that out i have uh, the link down in the description box below basically it allows you to uh, save incoming snaps with uh, w without the sender knowing upload your own pictures to send as snaps or uh, even hide the explorer feeds and hide the annoying features that uh, snapchat offers you that you don't want so that's pretty cool um it is free but you can uh, donate to hide ads which is i highly recommend if you use snapchat every day uh, final tweak uh for youtube uh, well youtube here in the settings panel you can get the uh, let me show you here so configure it's called circuit 3 what that allows you to do is uh, basically download any video you want say for offline viewing uh, watch YouTube, listen to YouTube uh, in the background without it stopping when you exit the app. Uh, hide upload button, my favorite. That, that upload button on the, on the app was just uh, not cool. Uh, you can set your default playback quality. I set it for 360p or when I'm watching videos on my 3G, I want it to drain so fast. Uh, this one also allows you to watch HD over cellular data. If, uh, if you have unlimited data, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. So this wraps up for my top series of picks for July 2016. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this quick video for you guys. So if you, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace.